New information has been released about the iPad Pro and iPad Mini 2021. What's the information and is it worth upgrading? Stick around to find out. Hey guys, Dave Jacobson here. In this video, we're gonna talk about everything we currently know about the upcoming iPad Pro 2021. And we're gonna to try to answer one simple question. Is it worth upgrading? So let's jump into the details. So earlier this month, Apple confirmed that it will be hosting a new launch event on April 20th, which is only five days away from now. And that may in fact be where it debuts its new iPad Pro for 2021. In fact, there's good reason to believe this is the case based on the information that has been leaked as of now. Of course, we won't know for sure until the event actually does take place. And guys, check out these new images that were just leaked by Sonny Dixon. So these images are dummy models, supposedly of the new iPad Pro and iPad Pro Mini. So you may be asking yourself, what is a dummy model? Well, dummy models are essentially models that are created for accessories manufacturers to help them know the exact dimension. So for example, if you're creating a case for the new iPad Pro, you need to have a dummy model to be able to make sure that the case will actually fit onto the iPad Pro. So there's a good likelihood that these are exact replicas of what we can expect to see when the product does launch. So assuming for the time being that these dummy models are in fact visually accurate, that means there's not gonna be a lot changing, at least visually, with the new models. Based on these images and CAD images that were leaked, the upcoming 11-inch iPad Pro will likely have the dimensions 245 by 176 by 5.9 millimeters, which means the new version will only be a tiny hair smaller than the older version. The iPad Pro 11 will also house the volume rocker on the right side, while the lock button is on the top. In the images that are available, the speaker grills appear to have shrunk in size. On the right side of the render, there are cutouts for where the physical keyboard can be attached to the iPad Pro. So in sum, if you're hoping to see a brand new design, you're probably going to be disappointed when the new iPad comes out because it's pretty much identical to the older model. Okay, so if the visual design is pretty much identical, what is different about the newer models? Well, according to more leaked rumors, the main upgrade will be under the hood. The A14 chip, which is said to rival the M1 in terms of speed, is expected to be in the newer models, which means the processors on the new iPad Pro will be much faster than the older models. That would be a huge improvement in terms of speed, but what else is different? It's also rumored that the new 12.9 inch iPad Pro will include a mini LED display. No word on whether the smaller 11 inch model will also include the mini LED, but it's likely that Apple reserved that feature for the higher end model. With the new introduction of mini LED, dramatically smaller LEDs are used, which provides much greater control of localized backlighting, allowing higher brightness and deeper blacks. The combination boosts the contrast ratio as well as using less power. So these differences are great, and if you're a visual designer and having that high contrast and bright screen is really important to you, or if you're watching movies in a dimly lit environment, then these upgrades are really gonna be beneficial to you. But it may not be enough for the average consumer to upgrade. So what else is different? Another change we could possibly see with the newer models is Thunderbolts instead of USB connectors. Um, this is something that Apple has notoriously rolled out in its newer models, and so we can likely see it with this as well. The camera module also looks the same as before in the images that were leaked. If so, then we'll see a dual camera system coupled with space for an additional sensor and the LED flash, housed in a squarish module that sits slightly raised from the main rear panel. The exact specs of the cameras in the newer models are not yet known, but we can certainly expect them to be higher performing cameras and you'll likely be able to take better pictures and get better video. Another change that we could see with the newer models is that the newer models could have AirTags. AirTags are expected to be Apple's competition to tile item trackers. Owners of the new iPad Pro will be able to attach an AirTag tracker to something like a backpack 
AirTags have been rumored for well over a year now, and despite multiple reports suggesting a release, nothing has materialized quite yet. So it wouldn't be surprised to see Apple announce the release finally of these new AirTags. Lastly, we still don't know what colors are going to be released with the new iPad Pro, but we can expect to see probably the same colors from the last with the addition of potentially some new colors as well. New storage options and potentially 5G compatibility are likely new releases as well. The iPad Pro currently comes in silver and space gray with 128 gigabytes up to one terabyte of storage and with LTE connection. Those options will likely be available with the newest model, but there could be some additional options as well. Okay, so what's the conclusion? Should you upgrade? What does all of this leaked information mean? Well, the overall conclusion is that the newest iPad Pro is not likely to have new features or visual differences, but there are some main differences under the hood that if you're looking for performance boosts, this may be the right model for you. Specifically, if you're looking for faster processing or if something like camera performance, video performance, and even display is something that's very important to you, and you can afford the boost in upgrading, then this is gonna be the right model for you. Also, if you're a visual designer, or if you want to take stunning images or video, or if you're looking perhaps to be able to watch videos in dimly lit environments, then that mini LED screen display is really gonna provide some advantages for you. So you might wanna consider upgrading. But if you're an average consumer and $1,000, which is approximately what the price point's likely to be, is too much for you to consider upgrading, then the 2018 or the 2020 iPad Pro will likely be a great fit for you for at least another year or two to come. With all this being said, of course, we don't really know what to expect until the product is actually launched, and all of this is based on speculation and rumors. But for now, based on the information that's available to us, that is our opinion. So if you found this information useful, please give us a thumbs up. And if you're looking for more tips on product releases, leaks, and tech reviews, definitely hit that subscribe button and hit the alert bell so you can receive notifications next time we release content like this. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.